Well, today is uh, October 19th, and we're at Crescent City. It's about noon, and we've just listened to the uh, NOAA weather report. Sounds like there will be very little wind out there today, um, beginning from the north and then turning around to the south tomorrow. Uh, it's approximately uh, 60 miles to uh, Humboldt Bay, Eureka, California and that's going to be our destination. It should take us, if we motor all the way, it'll be 12 hours, uh, which is kind of awkward. It means we can't leave in the daylight and arrive in daylight, uh, make the whole trip in daylight. You know, we can't leave early enough to get there before sunset. So uh, what we're going to do is leave this afternoon, travel all night, and then probably just take our time poking down there uh, and try to arrive at uh, 8 or 9 in the morning. We're not sure of the tide situation, so I'll have to check that out. But right now, that's what it looks like. We're going to leave here this afternoon and arrive at Eureka, California, Humboldt Bay tomorrow morning. We've been here way too long. Way too long. We've been here 11 days. Today's, yeah, today's the 11th day since we arrived. But Laura's back to 100%, 99%. 99%. 99%. Laura's back to 99%. Bree is about 40%. <laughs> We're all Tom Clancy'd out. Yeah. <laughs> We're all Tom Clancy'd out. We've read about five Tom Clancy books while we've been here. Um, and of course, thanks uh, a lot to Walt and Judy Brown, our fellow Vega Association members who live here in Crescent City and have taken good care of us while we've been here. Fed us, bedded us. Yeah, they fed us, they let us sleep in their guest Laundered room. Us. We, got, we did our laundry <laughs> at their house. Um, it hasn't people. been uncomfortable here, but I mean, the boat was soaking wet when we got here. We had to dry the boat out, which we have successfully done now. It's been wetter than that before. <clears throat> it's been wetter than that before. Only a couple of weeks before. But we haven't had any power since we've been here, which is no big deal. But No, we've been we've... operating off our solar panels and batteries, uh, just listening to the radio. I mean, all we run the fan forward to keep the, keep the boat from getting too uh, wet from condensation inside, help keeping things dry. But yeah, everything's fine. Facilities leave some... The facilities here leave to something be to be desired, desired. yes, uh, unfortunately. But hey, you know can't have everything. Oh, Crescent City's not bad. It's not a bad place. It's an easy walk to the market and there are laundromats close by and there's a, Laura got to stay in a motel across the street from the harbor. Yeah, not bad. Lots you know, of restaurants I mean, and you know there's things to do here but the actual harbor facilities are... Uh, the actual harbor is uh, kind of a wreck. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. It's too bad. There's a, a boat sunk just in front of us here a 30-foot fishing boat on the bottom right in front of us. And the docks are only partially in. There's pilings all over the place. There's. And would you use that shower? Well, I would not use that shower. No, I would not use that shower. I wouldn't use that I shower. Use that, I wouldn't use it. No, I don't think I'd use that shower. So, anyway. Too bad. They're trying. They're, there's things in the work, but they're focusing on the wrong areas. They're focusing on the development they're around the harbor. They're focusing on developing rather you know, than the harbor itself. businesses and, and things around, in Retail. the harbor area. Retail shops. Retail shops and restaurants in the harbor area. There's plenty of restaurants. Dozens of restaurants. We're right on Highway 101. There's plenty of restaurants, hotels. They want to put retail shops and restaurants in the harbor area, but the harbor really needs help, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the harbor itself, you know, for the boats needs help. Uh, anyway, that's it. We're out of here today, and we're heading down to Eureka. And I'd like to go farther, but I don't think uh, with small craft warnings, gale warnings and small craft advisories out beyond 10 nautical miles, we're going to have to hug the coast and uh, sneak down a little at a time, get, get around Cape Mendocino. And that's what we're up to. We're going to head down to, uh, we're going to go from here, Crescent City, down to here, Humboldt Bay. And this is Cape Mendocino here. Um, and then 
maybe a day or two at uh, Eureka and we can um, make that around Cape Mendocino and farther south. This is San Francisco down here. So that's where we're, that's halfway down <laughs> the coast of California. Yeah. It's more than halfway on our trip because we started uh, uh, at Cape Flattery, which is, uh, where is it? I have to unfold the chart all the way. Yeah. So we started up here at Cape Flattery. Started up here at Cape Flattery. Actually, we started at uh, Port Angeles here. Point Wilson is, um, this is where Port Townsend, then to Port Angeles, and then out for our first trip, we went out and down. And then up. And then <laughs> yeah. in, and then got blown north all the way up to Tofino, which is up here. And then, then the second time we went out and down across like, sort of out like this, and got beat up, but managed to get all the way down to uh, where we are now, which is here. Now we're going to take this little short jump. Cape Mendocino is the big one, though. Well, Cape Mendocino, we're... We don't want to get caught out here in bad weather. Right now the forecast is pretty benign. There's not much wind out there at all. In fact, we're probably going to be motoring the motoring whole the way. way. So, oh, well. Anyway. oh well. Oh well indeed. I want to go back to my little grass shack in Kaolica Cool Hawaii. I want to be with all the carnies and vahinas that I used to know So long ago I can hear the old guitars playing On the beach at Ho Now Now I can hear the old Hawaiians saying Ego mo mai no ka ua ika halibala